ready. Me? To go Me. on a, a gold pin. I knew it! I knew it! We're going to go to the river. We're going to go gold. We're going to go find some gold. Hello everybody. You are getting bare-faced Jessica to start the vlog. We decided to head out to Pedro Creek and do some gold panning. When we get out there, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. We've been watching like YouTube videos about gold panning. The kids have been really excited about it. So this was one adventure we wanted to take with the kids. We didn't tell them until today about what we were doing and you guys saw that earlier. They're so excited. I am going to be droning out there. The kids are gonna be gold panning. I'm gonna be showing you Alaska. It's gonna be a good old time. I'm gonna get in the car and do my makeup because your girl likes to feel put together. <laughs> All right, let's head out to Pedro Creek. guys we are having such a fantastic time I don't know how much footage I got but we've been here for hours and I came down here we're by the car so when you get here there's like this so it's like parking all along here and then all the way down there just to about there not a ton of parking I thought it was gonna be much bigger I, I didn't really research it it was just what Lance told me but there's only a few spots and there's just been a few people out here which has been so nice they have only gotten just a few flakes of gold but this was totally about the memories not about like how much gold we could get this is a very popular place 
here in Fairbanks. And the reason is, this is the creek that Felix Pedro found gold on July 22nd, 1902. Because he found gold here, Fairbanks was the biggest city in Alaska for a little while. This is the reason Fairbanks, Alaska is on the map, is because of this creek. During the week of July 22nd, we have what's called Golden Days, and you guys have seen us vlog it before, where we have the rubber ducky race, and we have kind of like an old time week where like people dress up in like the, the 1900s outfits. It's just kind of a week to celebrate why Fairbanks is here. So anyways, a little backstory on what Felix Pedro Creek is, or Pedro Creek, it's called Pedro Creek. It is right off the highway, like this is the highway. So it is a little bit noisy, but once you get down in the creek, so I'll kind of show you guys, this is where we parked. You come up this hill a little bit, Lance is making some hot dogs for us, and then here's the creek here that this tiny little hill blocks so much sound, but the water is very peaceful. I just counted how much gold flakes we got, and we got four, six gold flakes. What? <laughs> so cool. We've had a fantastic time out here. Pretty sure we're all gonna be summer, <laughs> but it's not, whew, the wind, it's not like crazy warm out it's like 70 ish 75 maybe feels closer to 70 right now my fingers are definitely cold what you're doing in the process of like panning is you get dirt and you put it in the pan and when you shake it all the gold settles to the bottom you dip the pan in and pull it out and it kind of rinses off the top part because gold is much heavier than dirt it stays at the bottom so we found a few flakes but it was still a lot of fun <laughs> we saw a little place on the way here that you can go and like pan dirt that that people have already like pulled out so you get to you get to gold pan it gold daughters and I had no idea it even existed a lot of this area kind of looks rough because it's from like the gold rush time they actually close in like well 30 minutes now and you can you can spend it's twenty dollars a person to go back there and you can just pan dirt for as long as you want to pan dirt and we want to make like a day of it and come and just have a good time. They have an adorable shop as you saw. They have little bags of dirt that they guarantee gold in. So we bought a couple of those so we can go pan them at the house. Definitely check back for another vlog about that because that will be a lot of fun. The kids had so much fun today. You want to see how much gold we got? Oh yeah. If <laughs> the camera can even pick it up. I don't know. I don't have to work Monday. <laughs> It's literally like the tiniest little amount of gold. I worked so hard for that. I know. So many more memories though, if you can see it at the bottom there. There's just a couple tiny. There's four colors. There's four colors. <laughs> 15 cents. <laughs> so anyways, their, their little shop was super cute. Like they had fossils in there that they had found around this area. They had uh, woolly mammoth tusks in there, which is crazy. They said they've even found some fossils in the dirt that people are going through back here. Pretty cool. This whole trip, we've kind of like talked about like Felix Pedro and that was that was Pedro Creek that we went to. Anyways, they have this little book there that they just got in. It's called Pedro's Pan. And it's a little story for the kids. So I think we're gonna read this to them tonight and just kind of finish off that memory. It was good. The whole, just, just being outside together and it's a little bit stressful for me. Oh, you can't, I know you want the book, honey, but it's paper, you'll rip it. It was a little bit stressful for me just because like water scares me and like my kids are, they're kids. So they're like playing mainly Brayden. Brayden was just, he's five and he's a busy five-year-old. So he was like constantly running around and it just made me so nervous. So 
we did in the middle of it I was like okay I need a break from like not worrying about kids for a minute <laughs> and we did and then they went back out there and they just there's just so many good memories so anyways all right we're gonna head home and get some dinner going the gram. That's what's nice about the, like, the double prong. Okay, check this out. Look at that, folks. Yeah. Mm. You got a flower? I made it. <gasps> you did it? I made it. You made it? Daddy. I made it. Oh, I made it. it. Oh, Oh, is it for me? Oh, she's giving everybody flowers. Adoric actually reached out to me and wanted to send me these sticks. I am not getting paid to say any of this, but they are gonna give you guys a discount code. I didn't really want money for like putting it in the video, but I always ask, if people wanna send me stuff, I always tell them like, I'll test it out first. If I like them, then I'd rather like you guys get a discount than me get paid for like saying it just because, I don't know. I don't know, that's just how I am. But anyways, they sent me these sticks. I think it's pretty cool. They're only $19 for eight of them. And they're all color coded so you know whose is whose, which is pretty awesome. Plus they're gonna give you guys 10% discount if you use code VIOLETVLOGS. We may have had dessert oh, before yeah. dinner. No, We're currently making some hot dogs. My word. No, Good job eating your hot dog. Today was like just a huge memory maker for all of them. They are so exhausted, but they've just had such a wonderful time. I do wanna encourage you guys to get out and do things with your family. It doesn't have to be things that cost money. Um, it can be a simple thing like going to the park. It can be such a huge memory maker. <laughs> did you have a good day? Mm -hmm. You did? Is that fun? Should we mm -hmm. do it again? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> like lots of times. <laughs> we'll be rich. <laughs> we're not we're not doing it to get rich we're just doing it for good memories even though i show bits and pieces of our day and it looks like everything went smoothly and it's no stress and you know it was not a big deal there is parts of our day that do get stressful so i don't want you guys to be discouraged because you guys go do something as a family and it is stressful it is it can still be memory maker we did we did still have the stresses of things and i forgot my phone and he had two errands he had to run, actually three before we left. So there was, there's a lot of steps and I don't ever wanna come across as like a perfect family that like does stuff all the time and it goes perfect every time and I don't wanna ever come across like that because that's not real life. There's stresses, there's normal things, there's, there's yelling, there's screaming, there's, there was all sorts of stuff going on. But I don't show those things because in the midst of it, we are just dealing with it and we wanna make sure everything's taken care of. It's not that I want to hide it. Hello? Why are all the neighborhood dogs barking and howling? It's concerning when dogs are barking like that. <laughs> it normally means a moose or bear. Okay, before we end this, 
I am going to show you how much gold we got. This dirt was a lot of fun. The memories, I would not take back going to Pedro Creek out of the, like, the few tiny bits we got. It was just more about fun, but to be able to come home and have this dirt to be able to, I don't know, get gold. So I'm gonna show you. It's hard to see. So this is one of the vials that we got today. This one's Landon's, there's his. And this one is Natalie's, it's kinda hard to see, but there's some, there's a little bit of gold in there. So much fun. <laughs> Look like a crazy person. Anyways, we did have a lot of fun. I am going to end this because kids are dirty and they are tired and <laughs> It has been a day. Everyone is a little bit sunburned. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along. As I said, we do plan to go up there and do some fun gold panning, spend the day up there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!